everyone, Letty here from Party Planner Papery. Today I'm going to share with you a not too shabby shop design team project where I use the March 2023 stamp and die set of the month called Just For You to make some easy A2 floral cards. Welcome back everyone. I'm on the design team for the Not Too Shabby Shop for this term. Here's their logo. I'll list their website link and a discount code down in the description box below. Here's some more information. So today I'm showcasing the March 2023 stamp and die set of the month called Just For You. In this video, there is a hashtag where you can get even more inspiration. It's hashtag N2S, Just For You. Um, and so this is what the stamp looks like, and it does have a coordinating die set as well. And this is found exclusively at the Not Too Shabby Shop. You see it cuts out the words, as well as the little handle on the little watering pail. Super, super cute. And a bunch of really fun floral prints. So here is what they look like when they've already been stamped and colored and die cut out. I did use just some basic alcohol markers to color this. I did add some glossy accents, although I don't think you can see it too much here, but I did add a little bit of glossy accents as well. So the one thing I like about this little pail is you can jazz it up with a little bit of decoration. I added some polka dots. You saw before I added stripes. I've also added just my own little spin of a design here. You've got so many options. So again, this is the March 2023 step and die set called just for you from not too shabby shop this is an exclusive from that shop so for today's video before i get started i'm going to show you what i made in my previous video which was for the hopping giveaway which does end on march 14th so make sure you check out that video i will link it down in the description box below in case you haven't seen it i made these four cards on camera so what i did was i used just one basic mat and a little white banner and made four cards four different designs so for today's video what I wanted to do was do a little bit of ink blending for some backgrounds just really basic I added some doodle lines with a Pigma Micron 5 archival ink pen just to add a little bit of fun uh, to the background I wanted to add because these were kind of spring color cards I wanted to have a little bit of white in there but then I wanted that pop of the color so I used the salvage patina distress oxide I also used the shaded lilac uh, distress oxide and then the squeezed lemonade and then also the kitsch flamingo which is this one and then i also use the lighter pink which is the sponge sugar you can barely see that one and then i also had the green one which was called the twisted citron so those are the six colors of distress oxide that i used to make these backgrounds just some basic ink blended backgrounds and then i'm going to be using some die cut images but to put a spin on it what i did was i Stamp the images on these uh, pattern papers. This is from the Lawn Fawn Stripes and Sprinkles collection. This is available in the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'll list a link and a discount code down below for you. Um, so if you want this little paper pad, it just came out, part of the new Lawn Fawn release. You can get the stamp and die and this paper pad. You see here, I did stamp out some of the images on three of the little sheets of six by six paper. I thought this would make it very easy for me to sort of jazz up my card and color because I wouldn't have to do very much coloring on these, just a little bit of highlight. So I've got my backgrounds here. I've got my images. I'm going to die cut them and then color a little bit. And then I will make the final card together up next. Okay, so I've got my cards that are pretty much all ready to go. I will do a full recap at the very end so you can see what they turned out as far as what they look like. And then I do have these stamped images that I had die cut out of the pattern paper. I did add some glossy accents to them as well to just to make them shine. I just think these turned out great and they were so easy to color because all I did was just add a little stripe on the sides, maybe on the bottom, just a little bit of a highlight. I did glue two pieces together, add some double-sided dimensional tape from Dollar Tree just to kind of put them together to pop it up on the front of this card. But the white mat that I have is four inches by five and a quarter. I've already glued this down to the front of my card base just to make it a little bit quicker i've got my micron pen and then i also have my little stamp sentiment that says just for you this came in this stamp set i thought it was so cute and then i'm using my memento tuxedo black ink for this so what we're going to do is we are going to do a little bit of ink blending you see there that's what the card looks like up close it's dimensional because of that double-sided tape i'm going to be using my pen real quick and just add a little bit of doodle line i like the way that the dark black contrasts with the white on the border so i just wanted to add just a little bit of something extra on that border and that's why i brought that in i've got my distress oxide it's the squeezed lemonade so i'm going to go ahead and just take just a little easy 
a blending brush motion right in the middle of the card front. And I'm gonna go ahead and start from the inside and just work my way out. And normally people will say, go ahead and stamp off and then go ahead and do your, your distress kind of blending in the middle. But because the middle section is gonna be covered by the image, I thought it would be okay, again, that was Squeeze Lemonade, to just go ahead and start in the middle. So we've got our Memento ink, I'm taking that out. I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my stamp, stamp it right down at the bottom in that white area that I left open. And then I've got my image that I've, I've, I've stamped, I've colored, I've added glossy accents, glued together, added some dimensional tape and now I'm going to go ahead and just adhere it to the front of my card and my card is complete. These are so super easy and it's minimal coloring because of those pattern papers. So again this was the March 2023 stamp and Dice of the Month called Just For You. This is a not too shabby exclusive meaning you can only get it there. They do cut out the words, they cut out the handles, super cute florals. So I've got eight cards that I made here um, that I want to show you. So you see it is a little bit dimensional but they will mail just fine. So I think these just turned out so cute. They're so easy to make and so quick because you didn't have to do a ton of coloring. I literally just used the colored pattern paper as my background, added just a tiny little touch of highlight here and there, and then added some glossy accents just for a little bit of shine. So, so quick and easy. So March, 2023, again, from the Not Too Shabby Shop, I'll list a link and a discount code down below for you. And again, make sure you check out that hashtag N2S just for you to join in on that hopping giveaway before it's over on the 14th. Thanks for visiting everyone. I hope you subscribe, like this video, follow us on Instagram. Here are a couple videos I think you might enjoy. And as always, happy crafting.